guys, Max back here at the tips bench. Last week we showed you how to set up the rocket system of the ME163 Comet, and this week we've got a user requested tips bench, which is how to set up Delta and Elevon mixing using our 9XR Pro and our Orange T6. So this week we're gonna show you how to do that. So first thing we're gonna do is go over everything you're gonna need to set up Delta or Elevon mixing. First thing obviously you're gonna need is either a 9XR Pro and a 2.4 gigahertz module. Today we're using our Orange 2.4 gigahertz module because we're gonna be using an orange receiver in our uh, ME163. You also could use either our Orange T6 here. And then for our model, we're using our new ME163 Comet, which happens to be a Delta Wing, but you could use any Delta Wing, scratch build, any of the other Delta Wings we sell or any plane that would require Delta or Elevon mixing. We also have a Turnigy 3S2200, which we're gonna be using to power our system. We have a bind plug, which we're gonna to need to bind our receiver to our transmitters every time we do a setup. And inside of our Comet, we have our orange R615X, which we're gonna be using today as the receiver for the Comet. So before we go anywhere and start doing any kind of radio setup, there's an issue we have here, which is our prop still on. So for safety, we're gonna make sure we take our prop off. And I've also already disconnected our motor leads, so we don't have any motor spinning up or any issues with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the prop off and then we'll get started with setting up your transmitter. All right guys, so now that we have our prop off, we're gonna start with our orange T6 and doing our Delta Elevon mixing setup here. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is bind our T6 to our 615X. And we already happen to have done a tips bench video on that, which you can see here. And so if you are confused on how to do that, cause I'm not gonna go through it here, you can watch that video and I'll show you exactly how to do it. All right, so now we're all bound up here and we're gonna go and start the setup process for our Elevon Delta mixing. Now, right now, we have everything plugged into the correct channels as you normally would if you were to set up a plane normally. And you'll notice that if you look at the tail, when I give aileron input, only a, one of our ailerons here work. And if I give elevator input, the other one works. So that means we don't have the proper setup in our transmitter. So we just have to go ahead and actually just change one option in the transmitter and then we have to go through and make sure all of our control throw directions are correct. And then if we have to switch any wires or change any uh, servo directions, we can go ahead and do that and finish our setup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our setup list by clicking down on the scroll wheel. We're gonna go down to setup list and we're gonna scroll to the wing tail option. We're gonna click in there and you're gonna have three options, dual aileron, V tail, and Elevon. We're gonna be using the Elevon setup today, which is currently inhibited. So all we have to do is scroll down to it, click in, scroll right to make it active, turn it, turn back, go back to our menu. And then once we do that, you'll see we have our aileron mixing set up. Now we happen to have our aileron directions are correct, but our elevator corrections are incorrect. So now this can be fixed one of two ways. First thing we're gonna do is gonna go in and try to reverse the servo direction in our transmitter. And now that may screw everything up. So we might have to go and switch our aileron and elevator leads and that may fix it. Now it might get really confusing if you start switching things too many times. So we're gonna do one thing at a time and we'll work the problem out from there so we don't get all jumbled up and then wanna to have to start again from the beginning. So as I said, the first thing we're gonna do is go into our transmitter. We're gonna go back into setup list and we're gonna go into the reverse menu this time. Now we're gonna scroll down to elevator. We're going to change the direction on that. Now, as you see, that completely changed everything where our ailerons are now acting as our elevators and our elevator is now acting as our aileron. So we're gonna switch that back. Now we're gonna go over to our aileron option and we're gonna change that. And that didn't do anything either. That changed it to where our, again, our elevators are on our ailerons and our ailerons are on our elevator stick. We don't want that. So now what we're gonna have to do is go and turn the plane off. And we're going to switch the aileron and elevator servo wires in our receiver. All right, so we have those two switched. Now we'll power everything back up. All right, now we have everything set correctly. We have right aileron and left aileron are going the correct direction. And we have our elevators going in the right direction. They're a little out of trim right now, but we can always adjust that with sub trim later. But we have everything going in the correct direction. So again, as I mentioned, try it with the transmitter first. And if it 
messes everything up and nothing works right, then you can work with switching the servo plugs in your receiver, and that will usually fix the problem. All right, so now that we went through the setup with our RST6, we're gonna show you how to do it with our 9XR Pro. Now the first thing you're obviously gonna need is a 9XR Pro, and we're using our orange DSM-2 module. You can use any DSM-2 module that'll work with our orange series of receivers, but again, today we're using our orange module. So the first thing we need to do is place the orange module in our transmitter. All right, so we're all bound up here, and you can see that nothing's really working in the right direction, so we have to change a couple things in the 9XR Pro menu, and we can have our Elevon Delta mixing all set up correctly. So the first thing we need to do is go into the menu and scroll over to our templates page, which on my transmitter is 12 of 13, and we have a few options here for how we can set up our plane, and but today we want to use the Elevon Delta mixing setup. So we're going to scroll down to that. We're going to press and hold our menu button. It'll select it. And now we'll have the Elevon Delta mixing set up correctly. Now again, we don't have some stuff working in the right direction. So what we have to do is scroll over to our mixer, sec mixer screen here on our transmitter. And we'll see that we have channel 2 and channel 4 are selected for our aileron and elevator channels. So we have to change a couple of plugs here in our receiver. So now with our 615, when you're setting up with the 9XR Pro, you're gonna to wanna to completely ignore all the markings on your receiver that say like aileron, elevator, and rudder. So what we're gonna to have to do is pull out some plugs and plug them into the correct channels that our transmitter is sending out as our aileron and elevator signals. So we're going to power down our system. Now we're gonna be unplugging our rudder channel, which is channel four, and we're going to be taking the servo plug from our elevator channel and plugging it into channel four. Now right now we're gonna leave our rudder out since we're not gonna be worrying about that right now. All right, so now that I've switched those servo plugs, I'm gonna power our system back on. Now you'll notice that we now have the proper mixing setup where we have our ailerons on our ailerons and our elevators are working, but our elevators are going in the wrong direction, so we just need to reverse that channel and we should be all good to go. So again, we're gonna go to our menu. We're gonna scroll over here to our limits page. Now, remember we have channel two and channel four are delegated to the elevator and aileron uh, mixing. So what we're gonna have to do is start with channel two and invert that channel, which is what the 9XR Pro means with reverse and we'll see if that fixes our direction. If not, we'll switch it and go back to our channel four and try that, and we'll see which one gets it done correctly. So we're gonna scroll over all the way to the right on channel two, and we're going to press invert. All right, that didn't change anything, so we're gonna turn it off. Again, and we have that incorrect, so we're gonna go down to channel four. We're gonna invert that. And now our elevators are going the right way, but our ailerons are going in the wrong direction. So we'll go back up to channel two, we'll switch those. And now we still have everything going in the wrong direction, so what we're gonna have to do now is turn the invert reverse off, and we'll have to switch the elevator and aileron plugs in our receiver again to swap them around, and that should fix all of our problems. So we're gonna exit out of the menu here. And we're just going to everything off. Switch our servo plugs. Power our system back up. And now we're just going to need to try reversing those channels again, so we're going to go back in. We're gonna go to our limits section. Now we're gonna start with channel two again. All right, so inverting channel two after we switched our aileron and elevator plugs on our receiver seemed to fix our problem. We have our elevator and aileron directions going in the correct direction. And now all we need to do is just continue with the setup, set up our throttle and our rudder channels, and we'll be all good to go. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up for this tip. If you have any more questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more tips.